Hello, uh, Dr. Alexander Haskell here. I would like to invite you to watch uh, three videos which I've put together on the prevention of breast cancer and also the uh, reduction of a number of risk factors which are known to cause breast cancer. I spent about two years uh, doing research, uh, writing a couple of books. Uh, one is called Low Thyroid Hormone Symptoms, the Seven Causes and Seven Solutions. And the other one is um, Hope for Hashimoto's. Um, in this research uh, for these two books, I discovered a, a lot of information uh, about um, uh, breast cancer and its relationship to a number of, again, risk factors. Um, and I feel that now that these books are finally published, um, it's time that I'd like to try to share this uh, with the world. Um, I'll take you on a journey to uh, various countries where the research has been done to Italy and Germany, Japan, Argentina, France, and the U.S. And what's been What's been amazing to me is finding out how much research there is on these risk factors which are not all that well known. Um, some of them are uh, thyroid disease such as uh, hypothyroidism, uh, thyroid goiters, Hashimoto's. Other risk factors have to do with um, environmental chemicals, what are called endocrine disrupting chemicals, as well as those chemicals which mimic estrogens and stimulate breast tissue. There's also a lot of um, really good research on how to treat and prevent benign breast disease such as fibrocystic breast conditions and we now know that this is an etiology or cause again of the cell transformation and development of breast cancer. There's also a lot of research and a lot of hype around the use of uh, iodine <coughs> and iodide um, many physicians now are prescribing high doses of iodine as I once did and I'll review with you um, a lot of a, a more general broad uh, research on uh, iodine and iodide a lot of precautions that I've learned about I'll show you some lab tests um, how iodine and iodide are essential for the prevention of breast cancer but also has to be used in a very conservative way, conservative way, otherwise there's other problems that develop, which I'll explain in these videos. <clears throat> I've also, I'm also hosting <clears throat> two webinars, uh, which are free, which you'll be invited to. <clears throat> these will be on, again, optimizing thyroid hormones as a way of, of preventing uh, breast cancer, also a way of preventing breast disease. we will also be on learning about the essential uh, lab tests for thyroid and there's four of them which I'll review and the reasons why they're so important and teach you how to uh, take care of your health to optimize your thyroid hormones and also um, how to read lab tests and know whether or not your physician is doing a, a comprehensive job. The other uh, webinar that's free will be on Hashimoto's and why it is a risk factor for developing breast cancer and ways to improve the condition of Hashimoto's and ways to reduce antibodies. It's not always um, a guarantee that um, there's a treatment for Hashimoto's. It really depends a lot about how high a person's antibodies are, how long they've had it, how much damage there's been, and also a lot to do with other chemicals and heavy metals that are involved with the condition of, of Hashimoto's. I refer to Hashimoto's and also hypothyroidism as conditions and not diseases. So you'll find a link at this site to, um, to uh, watch the videos and also an area where you can link in to sign up for the webinars. I'm really um, devoted to spreading this word and um, I know that we can affect and improve and prevent breast cancer for millions and millions of people, mostly women, on this planet. I would really appreciate if you would forward this link to your friends and to your family who may also be concerned with uh, breast cancer and how to prevent it and how to reduce those risk factors. Thank you.